So would you like to turn tragedy into triumph? Let's do that. A lot of people are feeling a lot of tragedy um, around this virus. Maybe they've already experienced it, whether it was a loved one or financially. But I'm going to give you five tips to turn this tragedy or any tragedy you ever experience in, in life into a triumph. And the first step in this is a bit different than what you might think. The first step is to give yourself 10 minutes each day to grieve, to feel the fear, to feel the uncertainty, to feel the sadness of whatever you're, you know, maybe it was a this is a financial problem or, you know, a loss of loved one, whatever it is, but give yourself permission to feel that. It is never good to stuff that. The science is overwhelming that when we stuff this pain, it boomerangs back on us and, and it hurts us and it robs us of getting the, to the solution. Okay, so give yourself that 10 minutes. And once you've done that 10 minutes, then the key is anytime the problem comes up, pause and go, no, that's it. I'm switching to the solution. What's the solution? Now, there may be some people in your life who love to talk about the problem. Well, go ahead, same thing. As you listen to them on the phone or whatever, give them that same 10 minutes. Allow them to talk about the problem. Be a support for them. But then at some point, switch to the solution. Just ask a simple question. So what do you think the options are? What do you think the possible solution is in this? Now they may say, oh, nothing, and go, well, what are your skills? What do you think you can come up with that nobody else has come up with that can solve this? Like I was talking to a photographer the other day and their whole business, it's like, because people can't be seen, and, and I did that. I said, well, what do you think a new business you might be able to create? And they actually started to get excited. So that's the key, switch. Now, for some people, they may be so invested in the problem, they're like, okay, Kenny, that sounds good, but how do I start thinking about the solution? Well, here's a magic question that I learned from somebody else. Ask yourself this, like I start every day and I go, I'm excited for me to discover the solution to, and I fill in the blank. So I'm excited for me to discover the solution to paying my rent today. I don't know where it's going to come from. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm excited that I'm going to discover a way to solve this problem. Maybe it's a relationship, whatever it may be, but you just fill in the blank with, I'm excited for me to discover the solution to X problem. All right. So step number three is pick three things to focus on. See, a lot of times when we're wrapped up in the problem, we just, our brain, we're just overwhelmed with all the different options. And, and so narrow it down to three things. I'll tell you what the three things, what I always focus on. Whenever I'm in a problem, I go, I immediately, the first thing is, what do I need to learn? What do I need to learn? Because for me to find a solution to this, this probably means I don't have the skills, tools, and information. So I'm a junkie on TED Talks, on YouTube, um, going through the books that I've read, all those types of things. I go gather information. I get smarter. And that helps me with number two. See, my greatest fear when I have a problem is I feel stupid. I do. It was a message I got sent as a child that I was stupid. And so that's why my first step is to go learn because when I... I get frozen. Whenever I feel stupid, I get frozen when I'm having a problem. And so st step number two is to go face that fear. Whatever fear comes up, it's not always that I feel like I'm stupid. It may be some other fear, but I immediately look at what am I afraid of and which fear do I need to face today? The third piece of that is I also realize I have to say no. See, my life generally gets out of whack because I felt so stupid as a child, I said yes to things I didn't, I didn't want to do that I should have said no to. So I always, if my life isn't working, I look back and go, okay, what did I say yes to that I wanted to say no to? And so I start saying no. All right. So figure out what those three things are for you that will help you get over that hump. Tip number four, now that you've gotten that far, what's the smallest thing you need to do today? Like right in this moment. See, break the problem into the, the solution into little pieces. And so what's the smallest thing I can do right now? Sometimes for me, it's go take a shower. Sometimes it's go take a walk. You know, it's 
but I get myself moving in the direction of the solution. Just this little piece. I don't have to figure it all out. I don't have to figure out all the ways I'm gonna pay the rent, but what's the smallest step I can take towards paying the rent? That's what you wanna do, okay? Now, number five is track your progress. At the end of each day, write down, how much did I improve today? You see, the process of change, the process of coming up with a solution, we all want it like that. But I always like, I tell my clients, it's just like the second hand on a clock. Think of it. Second, 60 seconds goes around the clock pretty quick. But change, change goes very, very slowly. It's these little ticks of improvement. These little solutions we come up with in a week, two weeks, six weeks, six months later, we go, oh my God. I'm all the way down here. How did that happen? Okay. That's why it's so important every day. How much did you improve? You'll see those little ticks. And so when you have those dead spots where you're like, oh my God, nothing's happening. You go, oh no, no, no. Wait a minute. I'm already to here. I've already come a long way. I'm creating a solution. Okay. So give that a, tr give that a shot. Let me know what three things you think you need to focus on each day. Let me know what solutions you come up with and how you're turning whatever tragedy has happened or is happening in your life. What are you turning that into a triumph? Okay. Have a great day.